confirmation hearing today, the next FBI director, Christopher Wray, told the members of the Senate Judiciary Committee that if any foreign governments offered to help their re-election campaigns in any way, they should call the FBI. Here's what I want you to tell every politician. If you get a call from somebody suggesting that a foreign government wants to help you by disparaging your opponent, tell us all to call the FBI. To the members of this committee, any threat or effort to interfere with our elections from any nation state or any non-state actor is the kind of thing the FBI would want to know. President of the United States disagrees. He doesn't think so. Today he said, I think many people would have held that meeting. That meeting that his son and his son-in-law, Paul Manafort, held. Yes. Criminally minded people would hold that meeting. Honorable people would not. People named Trump or married to Trump's would hold that meeting and did. And it was too much today, even for the Trump worshiping New York Post, which in an editorial today entitled, What an Idiot. That's the title of it. New York Post editorial said, we see one truly solid takeaway from the story of the day Donald Trump Jr. is an idiot. That is exactly the story that his brother-in-law, Jared Kushner, wanted. Donald Trump Jr. is an idiot. Of course, the story that Jared Kushner really, really wanted was the story in which none of this ever comes out. None of it. Jared Kushner made the mistake of going to work in the White House and filling out Standard Form 86 in order to obtain a security clearance, and he checked the box, this box, right here, right there, that box. He checked that box saying yes. He understood that, quote, if I withhold, misrepresent, or falsify information on this form, I am subject to the penalties for inaccurate or false statement per U.S. Criminal Code, Title 18, Section 1001. Jared Kushner filled out this form, which carries a maximum five-year prison penalty for not telling the truth, this form required him to disclose that meeting for which Donald Trump Jr. is now being called an idiot by the Trump family's beloved New York Post. Jared Kushner is facing a possible five-year sentence tonight for not disclosing that meeting on Standard Form 86, and Donald Trump Jr. is the idiot. The New York Post says that Donald Trump Jr. is the idiot. The New York Post does not have one negative word about Jared Kushner in its editorial today, not one. It's all about Donald Trump Jr. as an idiot. That is how the media generally has been covering this story. It's the Donald Trump Jr. story. Jared Kushner knew, he knew this story was going to come out. Donald Trump Jr. didn't. Jared Kushner knew it before anyone else in the Trump family because Jared Kushner knew exactly when he recently updated Standard Form 86 to include this meeting. Jared Kushner knew that at some point this meeting was going to leak. And if it didn't leak, Jared Kushner was going to be asked about it in what could have been the most dramatic, bombastic moment of all of the congressional hearings. Jared Kushner, under oath, being asked about this meeting and the hearing. He would have been forced to admit that, yes, there was another meeting with the Russians that he failed to disclose, as the form required him to do. We already knew that Jared Kushner had to update the form for a meeting that he and Michael Flynn had with the Russian ambassador, and so Jared Kushner had a decision to make after updating this form and including the meeting with Donald Trump Jr. and Paul Manafort and a Russian lawyer, Natalia Veselnitskaya, and her translator. Jared Kushner had to decide when he wanted that story to come out. When is the best time for him? And the best time for Jared Kushner was as soon as possible and as far in advance as possible of any public testimony Jared Kushner might give to congressional investigating committees. Better for Jared Kushner if this meeting is old news by the time he testifies. And so it came out in the New York Times gradually starting on Saturday. Donald Trump Jr.'s explanations for the meeting changed each time the New York Times added more to their reporting. We now know that President Trump claims that he knew nothing about the meeting until this weekend when Donald Trump Jr. was first working on his first statement about what he would tell the New York Times. And that first statement was proven to be a complete lie by the actual emails that were released later. The President of the United States participated 
in shaping the language of that first set of lies that Donald Trump Jr. told the New York Times on Saturday, saying that the meeting had nothing to do with the campaign and it was all about adoption of Russian children. Jared Kushner didn't want any of this to come out. That would have been his first choice. Have none of it come out. And that's why he didn't put it on his application for security clearance, an application that he signed under oath. Jared Kushner didn't want it to come out, but if it had to come out, better that the story be that Donald Trump Jr. is an idiot than Jared Kushner is a criminal. Better for Jared. And so the story came out. The New York Times explained that its sources were all Trump people. Quote, advisors to the White House. That's how they were identified. And as I said, when we first discussed the sources on this program, that meant that they did not work in the White House, but that they had knowledge of all of this. And they had seen the emails. They had read them. Jared Kushner's lawyers saw the emails. That is how they became public. Jared Kushner's lawyers searched Jared Kushner's emails when they were desperately trying to get him out of the criminal trouble of having not told the truth on Standard Form 86. And Jared Kushner's lawyers were doing their due diligence. They wanted to make sure that when they updated their client's form, they would include every contact that Jared Kushner had with foreign governments and foreign agents. And so they searched Jared Kushner's emails. His lawyers searched his emails. That's why we all have that email now. Jared Kushner's lawyers found it. Jared Kushner's lawyers then amended his standard form 86 accordingly, and now the world has those emails. The story has unfolded as well as it possibly could at this point for Jared Kushner, who is the person who has the greatest criminal liability of anyone who sat in that room with that Russian lawyer and her translator at Trump Tower. Jared Kushner is in more legal trouble for that meeting than Donald Trump, than John Trump Jr. is or than Paul Manafort is. Much more. Five years more. Now, I know many people would wonder, well, who would do that to their brother-in-law? Who would leak a story that makes their brother-in-law look like an idiot? even if their brother-in-law is an idiot. Who would do that? Jared Kushner's father did that. Jared Kushner's father went to prison for it. Jared Kushner's father pled guilty in federal court to making illegal campaign contributions, tax evasions, and witness tampering. The witness he tampered with was his brother-in-law. Here's what Jared Kushner's father did to his brother-in-law. Because his brother-in-law was cooperating with federal investigators, Jared Kushner's father hired a prostitute to seduce his brother-in-law. He arranged to record the encounter between the two. And then he had that video sent to his brother-in-law's wife, sent to his sister, Jared Kushner's father, sent that video to his sister. Who would do that? Jared Kushner's father would do it and did do it. Jared Kushner knows what federal prison is like because he was a constant visitor to his father in federal prison after his father did that and was convicted of doing that in federal court. What do the Kushner men do when they're in legal trouble? Who won't they betray when desperately trying to save themselves from legal trouble? That is the question tonight in the White House. And that is why Donald Trump's lawyers are trying to construct a virtual wall between Jared Kushner and President Trump so that the president is never again in a conversation with Jared Kushner about anything involving the Russia investigation. Donald Trump's lawyers know that Jared Kushner has given the president the worst possible advice on the investigation, including the advice to fire James Comey. Any experienced criminal lawyer could tell Donald Trump that the two most dangerous people in the White House for Donald Trump are Donald Trump and Jared Kushner. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube.